<laughs> Here we are. Hey, it's the um, uh, Radioactive Rant That's podcast. That's what it is. It's our YouTube channel. Yes. This is uh, where we uh, tape episodes of the show, the podcast. Right. Uh, we would appreciate if you would like, please, and subscribe to please. this channel. Absolutely. Can you do that? That'd be great. If you're pointing, if will you it do the thing. Point down. down. We don't know what somewhere. We're down. I don't know. And we'd appreciate it if you tell someone about it, please. Right. And now we'll begin. That'd be great. Sound good? Mm hmm. Okay. The Radioactive Rant Podcast contains explicit language. Listener discretion advised. Here we go. Zero filter, Egghead. zero cooth. Mark Reynolds and Tom Swain. Oh boy! This <laughs> is radioactive rant. Yeah! I, hey, I got a uh, bucket list thing. You know, bucket list. Yeah. That I want to do this year. Uh oh. I'm gonna run it by you. So. I'm thinking about making some vanilla pudding, okay? Uh-huh. And I'm thinking about <laughs> putting it in oh, an no. empty mayonnaise jar, and then I'm going to go out in public and eat it. Ah! What do you think? That might be good. Can you imagine the looks? Yeah, you get some looks. I like that idea. Strange stares. <laughs> It'd be fun. Yeah. Anyway. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> no, people are, are weird. They are weird. Someone told me to use mayonnaise on a grilled cheese sandwich instead of butter. Ah, uh, yes, because of the uh, oil in it. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. I don't. That doesn't sound good to me. That sounds ridiculous. But you've heard of that. I've heard okay. of it. I uh, have not stupid. done it. It sounds dumb, <laughs> and I don't think I'll do it. But anyway, so I have a question for you. Uh huh. And it's a great question. Okay. Why? I repeat, why is It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia still on? I have no idea. I mean, idea. there's new episodes, okay? After the last season, uh -huh. or should I say seasons, <laughs> uh, but especially the last season, I don't get it anymore. And you know how much I love that you show. You loved this show. Big time. You'd watch it over and over. Uh, I, the seasons back to back, over and over. All again. the time. Now, is it an ego thing for these people? It has to be. Yeah. Because that show has reeked for years, <laughs> and I did love that damn series, man. It was good. I mean, we get it, okay? Every single character on that show is a monster. Right. With no redeeming Absolutely. qualities. Okay, point taken. Yeah. It's done, and it has been done for quite a few seasons, don't you think? How often? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like... How monstrous can they become? Exactly. It's like they constantly yes. are trying to one up the I, previous I season. I think it's in its 16th season. <laughs> it feels like it. No, I think it really is. No, wait, what? It should have ended after 11, and 11 was pushing it. Holy shit, you're right. It's true. That just makes me feel old. Now, of course, there's still going to be fans out there proving that people are just stupid. Uh, because there's really no reason for that show to continue. No. Or to have fans of the later seasons. <laughs> How's that possible? It's just horrible. It's like Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Is that still a thing? No, that's long gone. Oh, okay. Thank God. And I love that show. Yeah, that was a great show. The first few show. seasons, right? <laughs> I think with It's Always Sunny... And is it that the cast can't find any more roles exactly <laughs> the same as the ones they are portraying on the show? Because they've tried that, remember? Charlie Day has kind of made a career of playing Charlie okay. in movies. Well, here's some failures. Okay, there was The Mick with Caitlin Olsen, yeah. <laughs> who plays D, Sweet D. Yeah. And then the Glenn Howerton AP bio. Yeah, which I still have not gotten into. But both of those shows, the exact same characters as It's Always Sunny. Pretty much, yeah. And AP Bio, it was on Peacock, so what does that tell you? <laughs> Think about that. Let it go, man. Right? But you liked the first season, or if, I don't know if you liked the entire Of AP season. Bio? Yeah. That's not bad. Mm-hmm. 
But, but I watch the Mick. I'm like, the Mick is horrible, and I hate to say that, good. you know, because I'm the one that thought that <laughs> Caitlin Olson was attractive. Yeah, you had a thing for her. I did have a thing for her. Looks like a bird. She to does me. look like a bird. <laughs> hey, hey, okay, well, we're not no doing more that of that anymore, ever. Yeah, but Geraldo. No, he was fired. Harold. He was fired from that asinine band of circle jerking <laughs> jizz bags on the five on the Fox News channel. He was, which I really didn't think he was on in the first place. Yeah, he's, but that's what he what? says. And then I guess he quit the Fox News channel altogether. Good for him. So this is coming mm -hmm. from Geraldo Rivera himself. Mm -hmm. And what I gleaned from all of this is that I really don't care. No. I really don't. But it's out with the old guard and in with the new fucking dipshit idiot <laughs> guard. That's what I'm thinking over at Fox, right? Yeah. By oh, the way, oh. the geniuses over at the Fox News Channel geniuses. programming department, they rolled out their new primetime lineup oh, no. after they got rid of Tucker Carlson and watched their ratings <laughs> plummet <laughs> big time. Yeah. I think MSNBC actually beat them, I want to say, for the first time. What? Yeah. Good going, guys. Yay! Nice job. Wow. So. That's bad. Fox News put that fucking smirking <laughs> sore. Yikes. Jesse Waters <laughs> in Tucker's old spot. Oh, so that'll God. tank even more. No, the Waters World guy. Then no, they moved him. the dimmest of the dim, <laughs> Laura Ingram, up <laughs> in their lineup. So proving once again, the idiots over at Fox News Channel have no idea what they're doing. Yeah. They take the two mm -hmm. biggest crybabies mm -hmm. on the channel, mm -hmm. right, and move them up the chain. Smart. Greasy wheel. I'm I telling guess. you. Mm. That's their new lineup. Wine up. Get it? Wine? Because they're crybabies? Show title. Crap. <laughs> yeah. Great programming strategies over at Fox News. Absolutely. I guess the Jeez. higher ups over there, I guess they're too busy violating lower tier female anchors <laughs> <laughs> who later... After at least five years of continuing on with the organization, they'll write best-selling books about it. Right. Think about that. And Once then, they quit. And then they'll make a movie of it. Right. After we'll many years. Set. Yeah. So a <laughs> beehive of activities over at the Fox News Channel. Yay! And the stupid morning <laughs> on the Fox and Friends show, they were doing cutaways <laughs> at a diner that's right up the street. From oh, here, really? a couple of mornings ago. They like to go to local diners. They wow. want to connect with real people, right. which is hilarious, right? Mm -hmm. In and the, of itself. The, the peons. Yeah, they, these people over there at Fox News, they are so tone deaf uh -huh. and out of touch with real people. It's hilarious. Yeah. That's all there is That's to it. crazy. I was going to go over there and huck dead goldfish at them <laughs> while they did their live shot. But then I'd have to go get some goldfish. Yeah. And, you know, just too much work. Possibly get arrested. I think yeah. it's very funny, though. Would, the the elite narcissist fucks thinking that they'll show up and slum it at some random diner. Right. And that'll automatically make them relatable. Exactly. Go it to TJI Fridays and I'm telling you, man. slum it a little bit. Crazy. Mm. Hate those people, I tell you what. God. Now, you sent me a podcast video. I did? Of two of the most insufferable imbeciles on the planet, Dana Carvey and David Spade. Oh, That's yeah. right. They have a podcast. Of course. Shocker. Every fucking body has a podcast. Yep. And most of them are a bunch of fake, out-of-touch douchebags. Of course. They really are. I like your idea. You said it just a few weeks what? ago. That any famous people or celebrities should be banned from having a Absolutely. podcast. Absolutely, That was a brilliant thought. It really was. Yeah. This is a free country, though, supposedly. I encourage you out in podcast land to listen to one of these star-powered podcasts and see for yourself. <laughs> in air quotes, star. Of course. 
Yeah. And if you don't listen or haven't already checked one out, you'll see what we're talking about. It's All they do is talk about themselves. Absolutely. Like the one yeah. from Julie Louis Dreyfus, however you say her name. The one on Seinfeld. Well, yeah. Why does she need a podcast? Exactly. Isn't she super uber rich? She was super well, I mean, uber that, rich before Seinfeld. It's all about getting attention, I guess. Or what about the three laughing hyenas, Bateman, Arnett, and the other one? I can never remember his name. Why do these people need to have a podcast? I don't Why? know. <laughs> you know what happens? It just muddies the water for the little podcasts like this one. Absolutely. Right? They... Those people, mm -hmm. they already have a built-in audience. That's what happens. It, they're the Walmarts and the Starbucks of the podcast exact. sphere. It's really not fair. Yes, we're crying. Of course. No doubt about that. We don't have the reach these fuck puppets uh -oh. have. They have movies. They have TV. Yeah. They have whatever. Yeah. So Anything why the hell want. do they need a podcast? Because it's just more. more but why? More of them. Is that it? It's, it's just more, 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 more? Yeah. Our little podcast here, Radioactive Rant, uh, it has a pretty good listenership, yeah. but it could be better, I guess, if there were not Always so many better. Bucky podcasts. Yeah. Like I was saying, it's just a sea of all kinds of fish out there. Yes. And these people cannot relate to you. Uh -uh. Trust me. Listen to me. Will and Arnett. listen good. Especially Will Arnett. Oh, my God. Uh. While you out there in podcast land, or opening a can of beanie weenie for dinner. <laughs> They're ringing little bells at the head of 50 foot dining room tables, alerting the help uh -huh. to bring them their Kobe beef and lobster thermidor. Exactly. So yeah, they can't relate. <laughs> That's what's happening. You know, we get oh, messages yeah. all the time from people saying, wow, I stumbled upon your podcast and I like it. Yeah. Or someone told me about your podcast, and it's actually pretty good. I hate when they say actually. Yeah, it's but actually, still, surprisingly. It'd just be nicer if there wasn't so much damn traffic out there when it comes to podcasts. Well, it'd be nice. And then you listen uh, to these guys, and it's just like, what? It's this. <laughs> to me. <laughs> I give up. I really do. I'm done. And it's... Like you said, every single celebrity has a podcast, too, on top of all the why? other shit that they have. But you haven't answered me why. It's Except just, you say they want more. It's all about, yeah, it's getting more, more, more. It's just another Stupid. medium for them to take over. Selfish fucks. Yeah. Right? Okay, mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Moving on. All right. Here's a quick recap. Do we need to do these recaps? I don't know. what well, we did last podcast? Somebody because, news coming aboard. You never okay. know. Well, let's do a recap of what we talked about in the last podcast. We want to get everyone plugged in. Yeah. Because we're going to read a few text messages from our listeners. And most of the messages, they refer to the previous, previous show. Yeah, that's why. And on the last episode, we played a few clips from the movie Caddyshack and said that that film wouldn't be produced today. No. Right? Great I mentioned movie. a swimming pool club I used to go to when I was a kid as well as a quick coming of age story. Mm-hmm. And we talked about <laughs> some other things as well. Go to RadioactiveRant.com to get in touch with us. Go to the contact page. And that's how you can message us. And we're going to read messages now. Right now. <laughs> Doug. Uh -huh. Van Buren, Indiana. Mm. Doug messages in. Please, a movie with a horrible looking gopher. And a bunch of stupid white male actors from the 80s saying ridiculous lines should never be considered a good movie. Never? Yeah. That's but it was says. a good movie. You know what, Doug? I've considered you as being a delicate sack of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and Did confirmed we? you are. Congratulations, <laughs> Doug. Hey, Doug, huh. if you haven't already... Stop listening to this show, please. Absolutely. Your band. Bicycle. <laughs> no. Ashton, Erie, Pennsylvania. Ashton writes uh -huh. or texts. Well, I guess that's writing. Something. Those segments you guys played from Caddyshack just reminds me that there are no good movies or movie ideas anymore. There you go. There yeah. you go, Ashton. So that's true, so sad. <laughs> and there's a writer strike. Because that's true. There's, I don't know. I give up on the writers now. I give up on it all. I give up on life. <laughs> I have you beat. Kirk. Uh, Kirk. Ah. San Antonio, Texas. Kirk, San Antonio, Texas. Yeah. 
Kirk says, it was cool to hear the Urbana Swim Club brought up on your podcast. Well, weird. Has to be the same one I grew up going to in Westgate in Manassas, Virginia in the 70s That's and 80s it. since Holy Manassas crap. has been brought up on the podcast before. Absolutely. I remember you and maybe you what? remember me. Please ping me back so we can catch up. Well, I won't be doing that. Uh-huh. Man, I definitely don't remember you. <laughs> but thanks for the text, I guess. Huh. Nydia, Lancaster, Ohio. Mark is a jerk. <laughs> the descriptions he gives of the girls he dated oh, in his no. youth are horrific. <laughs> Duh. Because they were horrific. <laughs> Listen, I make no apologies. I'm just telling it like it was. Shit, it doesn't make me look good. Right, you're the one that went out with them. Exactly. So suck it, Nydia. <laughs> Todd. <laughs> Marathon, Florida. On your guys' 100th episode, you said you might hang it up. Mm -hmm. Hope you don't. I like Radioactive Rant because it's not just horrible chatter with horrible audio. Oh. It's a show with different parts, and that's kind of rare for a podcast. And that's why I look forward to listening to you guys. Wow, that just did not end. I like it all, though. But, yeah, we are rare. Yeah. And, we have segments. And... Uh, but I still want to stop. No! There's the messages. Those were your messages. Those were your messages. We hope to hear from you next time. You know, that that is interesting. We are one of the few podcasts that is actually kind of a show. Like we have different segments. Yeah. And those, those damn <laughs> celebrity ones, they just, just ramble, on, ramble on. Yeah. And just like a train going the tracks until it fucking ends. And <laughs> it just. Yeah, but too bad. It. But too bad it doesn't end with a horrific crash. That yeah, would be nice. Like really in. Over a cliff. Enough with all that. Speaking of show segments. Yeah! Here we go. It's time for the Radioactive Rant Trivial Pursuit TV Trivia Cards Classic Television Questions Game. I'm, that's not funny anymore. <laughs> you really got through am. it that time, though. I did. I found these cards out right. in the garage, minus the actual game, just the TV trivia cards from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Correct. Now, the cards, I do have them. Yeah. But they're so small, the print, that I have to uh, print them out <laughs> on the thing. <laughs> really, but I do have them. Hey, lady! Oh, no, so not that have, again. <laughs> we do have the cards. We do. In the thing. I actually have the cards. In the house. You know, my friend, he finally had to get reading glasses. Oh. He's like, okay, I'm boo -hoo. 45. And I'm just like, yeah. I've used reading glasses for years. It. Even really when I didn't need them years ago, mm -hmm. like I kind of sort of, I'm like, oh, I like these. Yeah. This is good. I can actually see things now. Exactly. Better. Yeah. And anyway. it comes in handy with me because menus are really important when I'm in a restaurant. <laughs> I want to see what I'm going to eat, <laughs> you know. Okay, the thing on the stuff. Here's your first question on the... <sighs> <laughs> All right over the there. Brownie cookies are coming up on They're me. They're delicious. Here. They really are good. Uh, what is gr your first one? Yeah. It's the Radioactive Rant Trivial <laughs> Pursuit TV Trivia Cards Classic Television Questions Game. I did that very quickly. You did. I'm proud of myself. What is Grandpa's pet bat's name on the Munsters? Oh. Oh, really? Really? Uh, I'm, again, Adam's family guy. Igor. Igor. Grandpa Igor Munster. Or Igor. It's I I Igor. Okay. And uh, he was played by that. Al Lewis. Mm -hmm. Now, I did not know this, but Grandpa no. was also called Count Sam Dracula. And we all know he operated a laboratory in the ba basement of the home. But right. I didn't know that. His name. Here's your second one. <laughs> what TV series was spun off from the show Soap? Do you remember? That's easy. A 21st of oh. September. Benson. Benson. Benson Dubois, the Tate's butler, played he was brilliantly on soap? by the late Robert Guillaume. Yeah. So good. Yes, he was on That's soap. That's weird. So my parents would watch soap, yes. and then I watched Benson. There you go. Shit. I did not realize that. The spinoff. Uh. Here's your third one. All right. What was Uncle Joe's last name on P. 
Petticoat Junction. Mother! <laughs> Your favorite show! <laughs> oh. I know you don't know that one. Carson. It was Joseph P. Carson. How dare you not know that? Mm. Here's your fourth one. Okay. Out of four. On the show. On oh, the Partridge family. Uh-huh. What warning? What warning uh-huh. was painted <laughs> on the... What warning <laughs> was sure why you okay. had to do that I don't, twice. Because I didn't know if I pronunciated warning, warning? correctly, <laughs> but I think I did. Now All I right. really did. <laughs> what warning was painted... On the back of the Partridge's bus. Ah! Think, think, think. No? I don't know. Careful, nervous mother driving. Of course, Man. the mom, Shirley Partridge, yeah. in the Partridge. She was played by Shirley Jones. Delightful. Ah! Today probably would have been MILF painted Absolutely. on the back yeah. of the thing. <laughs> Careful, MILF driving. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. the Partridge family yes. was loosely based on the real-life musical family, the Cousels, okay, who I adored mm. as a young boy. Now, the Cousels, their real life was sadly a train wreck. Oh. But. Like the Jacksons. But if you get the chance, check out this documentary about them. It's called Family Band, the Cousel Story. Okay. And it definitely was not a sitcom. Netflix or what is this? I think it's on the Netflix. Okay. Check it out. Cal- there you go. The TV trivia pursuit questions that we do. I got none of them. Man, I love the Cousels. I'll have to check it out. It was a real family band. Yeah. Very talented. Hmm. The dad was like the manager, though. Yeah. Bud Calcil. Yeah. What a piece of yeah. shit. What's with Oof. the dads always being pieces of shit? Oh, my God. He was terrible. Cool. But you should have checked out the, hey, <laughs> I can't speak good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck the shit. <laughs> it's now time. Now, for the Radio Active Rant Celebrity Rant, where listeners choose famous people they're upset with, they hate. That's right. We don't have to do it no, anymore. No, we don't. Love it. Let's work. Yeah. Go to RadioactiveRant.com, then go to the contact page and message us with what celebrities you don't care for. Yeah. Tell us why, and maybe we'll choose yours. There's a lot of them. Let's see who Laura from mm-hmm. Piedmont, California doesn't care for. Piedmont, California. Kristen Wiig. And Laura says she doesn't like Kristen Wiig because she's a dull, <laughs> average actor with no real talent to speak of. She adds uh-huh. that Kristen Wiig lacks individuality and her performances are weak. Now, Laura Kristen really Wiig. thought that through. Yeah. You don't know who Kristen Wiig is? Uh, Bridesmaids? Saturday Night Live? I can't oh, stand her either. that. Yeah, ah, her. Okay. Yeah. Kristen Wiig oh. is a shit eater for sure. Don't forget Ghostbusters. The, yeah, exactly. The reimagining awful fucking train wreck movie. Just another mediocre Saturday Night Live alumnus. Yes. That fucking show, man. It it's like a conveyor belt <laughs> yeah, churning out half ass comedians and then spitting them out into the f- world of film. You know, and they all suck. I, I I don't know if I liked her. I just liked that mm-hmm. movie Bridesmaids, but uh, yeah, she's horrible. Yeah. Now listen to me and listen and good, listen good, because <laughs> I have a thought about SNL. Okay. Okay. You see, what was sold to the masses as funny mm-hmm. during the '90s was anything but funny. Mm-hmm. Thanks to Will Saturday Ferrell? Night Live. Uh Right? Yeah. Mainstream American comedy, both television and cinema, has suffered big time Uh. over the last two decades. It's never recovered. (laughs) It hasn't. (laughs) And it's people like Kristen Wiig that are at the forefront. Yeah. Oh, man. And yet, somehow, this monotonous moron makes money Mm -hmm. from supposedly making people laugh. Her yeah. fans must be easily pleased. And there's that guy, that horrible comic dude who's all tatted up. See, you can't like even, uh, bu- 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 yeah. <laughs> I, we never can remember his name. <laughs> oh, fuck. What is it? Ah, fuck it. I don't care enough to find out. It's crazy. But yeah, 
It's all of them. They're just half at, and they're churning them out, like you said, a conveyor belt of yes. Now, just lame comics. Insipid is a cruel word, but <laughs> she is the epitome of insipid. Not cruel enough. Oh yeah, and I saw her naked in a movie once, and projectile vomited like chunks <laughs> and blood. You warned me about that. I never watched that. It was awful. I never saw that movie. And that's celebrity rant. Don't. I don't want to even know the name of the movie. Thank I don't God remember. I, I don't remember it. So here's what I remember okay. about that movie. <laughs> it was bad. It was the one about her winning the lottery or some shit. I don't know. Like I said. <laughs> and that's all I got. All right. It's listener ran now. All right. This is where our listeners send. In, that's loud. Yeah. It's where our listeners send in things that irk them. Mm. Go to RadioactiveRant.com and click on Listener Rant to see what people hate. <laughs> Go to RadioactiveRant. Did I already say that? That was a, just a little pause there. Uh, for dramatic? Yes, dramatic effect. Did not work. And on the contact page, you can message us with both. <laughs> Fucking dribble. <laughs> I give up. Hey, we have real uh, Trivial Pursuit cards. There you okay, go. Moving on. <laughs> Just do the thing. Here's uh, some know. stuff our listeners don't like. Yeah. Matthew from Walker, Minnesota. He doesn't like people who still write checks at the grocery store. <gasps> I haven't seen that in years. Who does that? I don't even know how to write a check anymore. And isn't saying that elderly verbal abuse <laughs> because I don't think anyone under the age of 90 writes checks anymore at all. Do they? Mm. I don't know. Jason, Dillon, South Carolina. Ooh. <laughs> Never been there. Mm. Yeah, you have. Have I? You've been in South of the more. Uh, You've been in South of the border. Yes, that's it. That's where it is. Oh, <laughs> oh, I have oh. been through there. Shudder. <laughs> <laughs> Jason says he doesn't like people who say Valentine's day <laughs> instead of valentine's day yeah they're dumb times people that say valentine's day wow i've, I've heard that i've never heard of that yeah they are dumb that's that it enough ridiculous and you know what jason you live in dillon south carolina <laughs> so i'm sure he's, a lot of people say that he's there. one of the good ones i exactly. guess lorena arvada colorado she doesn't like picking out bits of tissue from the washing what is that uh, Oh, you know hate what that, that is? Yes. My wife puts tissues in her pockets and then Ooh. they go through the wash and oh. then shit gets everywhere. Wow, that's gross. Yeah, it's <laughs> super annoying. All right, Lorraine, I wouldn't like that either. Nathan, yeah. Charlottesville, Virginia. He doesn't like the noise dogs make when they lick themselves. I yes, wish I could make that noise. <laughs> oh, no. Kidding me? Ah. Uh. You know that. Yes. Your dog just had it surgery. always is licking its paws. Yes. It's like, shut up. Carl, Woodbine, Georgia, right there on the Satilla River in Woodbine, Georgia. My wow. uh, my grandfather yeah. had a place down there in Woodbine Ooh. when I was a little boy. He used to take his whore there. <laughs> what the hell? It was nice, though. Your grandpa had a whore? Oh, yeah. Nice. Carl doesn't like buying a product. And two months later, a more improved version comes out on the market. You mean like the fucking iPhone and everything <laughs> else? Everything else. Everything's a scam. It is. You cannot beat the system. There you go. Listen to Rant. Oh, the yeah. Hey. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Can we end? Absolutely. The end. Bye! Bye! You just heard the Radioactive Rant Podcast with Mark Reynolds and Tom Swain. Find out more at RadioactiveRant.com. I'm Doc Holliday for Radioactive Rant.